Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Tawana. So this is gonna be a quick video. Um, I have kind of been weaning off of um, stationary subscriptions. So when Go Mine Coco was having their, um, you know, end of the year sale, Black Friday sale, kind of that whole situation, she did have several of uh, the monthly um, creative journaling kits available for sale where you didn't have to sign up for the subscription you can purchase one box kind of test it out see if you liked it or if you already are subscribed to it of course you know you can buy it for the extras so I picked the quiet luxury journaling kit and I also picked the classic journaling kit so I did pick up two now the classic journaling kit was a preview kit so this was the box that they had released as kind of a preview as to like what this monthly subscription would look like. So I'm going to show you both. So and actually let's start with the preview box first. So I do believe that both of these boxes are still available. So we have the information card. It just tells you um, it talks about the journaling kit itself as a pretty... Um, kind of rose gold. We have the tissue paper. I'm not going to try to save it. And it has the sticker. So this one comes with the classic enamel pin. We have post it notes. So these are a nice size. I'm trying to find. So just to kind of in comparison. We have two sets of washi tape. This will definitely be gifted because I'm trying to figure out how I can go through all the washi tape that I have, even though I kind of want to keep this black and rose gold. I like that. And then we have die cuts. And this is a lot of die cuts. So even though the dolls are going away, I hope you guys were able to grab the dolls that you wanted when she opened up the vault over the Cyber Week. So these are all die cuts, but you can still, what I do with the die cuts if I wanna use them in my planner is just put, I don't think these are the ones with the sticky back now. So just put a little bit of adhesive tape on there and it is a lot in here. I ended up speeding up this section just because I realized there were a lot of die cuts and I was trying to take my time so you guys could see each of them. But yeah, it's a lot of die cuts in here. So if you like die cuts, go for it. And then we have the girl. Now like I was saying, the um, the dolls are going away, but if you are someone who enjoys the dolls and enjoys crafting, this is considered the um, standard box. So that is the box that's going to have like the doll die cuts and then the stickers. Now these stickers are that washi material that I absolutely love. It does help with your planner's bulkiness. And I like that gold foil, or that rose gold foil on there. And they correspond, so we got four sheets of stickers. And I am gonna actually put all this stuff right back in the same box and store it that way. And then we have the crafting paper. This is something that um, I'm trying to get back into using. I'm gonna post the video since I decided not to buy a top tab dashboards because I said I needed some. I decided to take some of the craft paper I had and because it's thick enough, I didn't even need to laminate it and then I found some of like that thin um, vellum that I was able to use as well. 
So now these are A5 size. These are also great to use for cards because this one I will probably fold in half and use it as a card. See how the back is just plain white? These are pretty. And if you have the, um, the picture frame from one of the treasure chest boxes, you can cut these down. It doesn't, it's not a whole lot of work. It's really like maybe about an inch and a half. Um, I think it's less than an inch and a half, maybe about an inch or a half, a half maybe about a half. You can cut them down to fit into that um, picture frame because that's what I'm going to start doing with the and switching out um, my picture frame. So I'm going to throw everything back in the box. So we can take a look at the other box. Now again, this was the preview box. So this one was actually priced excuse me, slightly lower than the monthly box. So this was the box that she released first. So that way we could get a look at what was going to be like the style and the like the vibe of the boxes now this one is the quiet luxury box i am going to put a link to the subscription tab as well as the if these are still available on the website um a la carte i'll put a link for them in there as well so we have our information card and it lets us know what's in this particular kit so it says quiet luxury welcome to the world where every thought matters every plan leads to success every dream is within your reach this monthly journaling and planning kit is more than a box it's a catalyst for fueling your aspirations and lighting your path ahead all right So let's get in. And I know I'm going through this pretty quickly just because I don't want to make this a super long video. So I'll give you my thoughts on both boxes once we finish. So we have the Elevate Notepad. Well, I mean, sticky notes. Looks pretty thick. I feel like that's probably at least 100. And if you can. I don't know if you can tell, but it uh, around the binding, it does have like a slight shimmer to it. That's good. We have two rolls of washi. We have the G and C enamel pen. We have a small notepad. It has the dot grid on there. It's really faint with the gold. We have a pocket notebook. Okay, actually there are two pocket notebooks in here. So one is blue with the GNC with the gold and then it has the gold around the ends. Both of them have the gold going around. Embrace the quiet elegance of everyday luxury. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is the reason why I picked this box versus the other box because I love, um, I love me a good notebook and I'm starting to carry a smaller pocketbook so it's nice to have one of these um, pocket notebooks and I figured why not have a cute one and I do like to send friend mail so I did pick it for this as well I wanted to make sure that I had a purpose for everything in the box and that's how I determined which box I was going to get so then this one comes with a set of note cards look how pretty those envelopes are nice and thick oh I like that too if you don't want to use them as cards you can most definitely cut these and use them in your planner I like that embossing this has the blue inside we have the hello
Now this design, this style, this um, line art, oh, I really like that one. That one is really nice. It's the line art embossed with the white inside. It's something that I'm noticing a lot of companies are moving to. You do also get a sticker pack with this one as well. So if you're someone who's, um, you don't want to get into doing like the individual stickers, this is a really good one. And these are ones that you probably would use within a whole month if you just took one of these out and used this on a weekly, then you actually probably would use all of these sheets. So these have a gold foil and they are that washi um, tape sticker style. So you can see the little shimmer on there. I do like that there are sets of numbers. So if you have um, a desk pad that's unnumbered or your planner is undated, that's really nice. So what did we have? Two already. This is sheet three. This is sheet four. That's nice. This is sheet five. So we got a mix of the girl dolls, quotes, decorative boxes and functional stickers. So did, what do we have, six sheets? I stopped counting. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So six sheets of stickers. And I also noticed that the craft paper is going to be a staple in these boxes. Um, so, we're going to look at this craft paper and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. These boxes are most definitely for someone who um, enjoys decorative planning and scrapbooking and really doing all of the crafts. I have to say, I did go through a phase where I was in here cutting up stuff and making dashboards and bookmarks and all of that. This has a nice embossing on it, you guys can see. Um, I am not in that season. I very much um, still have a lot of craft paper that I'm actually going to be adding to a giveaway um, come the end of the year. Just because um, there's no way possible I'm going to go through all of it. So I prefer for it to go to a home where somebody is actually going to use it. Uh, so the price points on these boxes are, oh, what is it, $75. Without a doubt, it is, you get the accumulation and the quality of the items that you get very much justify the price this is a monthly subscription if you feel like you aren't going to use everything in the box um, within maybe like the first two months I can imagine that you are going to have a lot of items come the end of the year that you just have not used um, and for some people, that's fine. They don't care about that. They have plenty of space. For me, I'm in the season of everything has to have a purpose in a home. What I would say is it definitely, I think, is something that kind of would push your creativity out there. And like the no cards and no pads are definitely things that you would use. I, even looking at the crafting paper, I did see quite um, a, quite a few ideas did come to mind on how I could use them. So I would say before you hop into the subscription, think about are you actually going to use all of these items? Are you going to gift them? Because truth be told, the, the, the box, for the amount of money that the box costs, you get quite a few items and you get a um, you get a lot of items the quality of items now the sticker pack and the craft paper I believe are the only two items that 
are consistently in every pack. Um, I'm not sure if the washi tape is something that is consistent in every single pack, but most definitely I can see if you're cutting up the paper and putting it in your journal and things like that, how um, you can kind of go through the boxes where you don't have a ton of stuff left over. That's my only thing with um, monthly subscriptions is that I feel like when Oso Paper was doing their monthly subscriptions, I still have stuff left over. So for me, I'm just like, mm, I don't, I don't know if it's something that I would uh, dive into. I will say this: I think for me personally, I enjoyed the Quiet Luxury uh, box more than the Classic Journaling box. I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why is because. There are more items in the Quiet Luxury box that I'm going to use for myself personally than in the Classic Journaling box. The Classic Journaling box, I, the there are several items that I'm gifting to a, uh, I, I don't want to say gifting, I'm giving to uh, my girlfriend and that was the only reason I purchased these boxes is because she was interested in the boxes as well. So some of the items will be going to her and I'm going to keep some of the items for myself. So overall is it so my criteria for um subscription boxes are are they number one do do you get your bang for your buck hands down yes the quality of the items the number of items that you get justifies the price are these items that i would use on throughout the month yes are these items that if i had anything left over i could use later on yes are these items things that I could use in several areas of my journaling or planning system? Yes. So for me, it is, um, it's definitely one to look into if you're into crafting, planning, journaling, scrapbooking, all of those things you can do with these boxes. And every month is a different theme. They do, um, Felicia does a video kind of preview for the box that's coming. They do leave a small window open where you can purchase that month's box. I think it's before the 5th or the 10th. Don't quote me. I will put a link to the website on there where you can look at the preview box and be like, yes, I want the box. I will say this. This is a monthly subscription. So, I think that these are great. Are they for me? No. Are there definitely some items in some of the boxes that I was like, darn, I had a little bit of FOMO with? Yes. Um, the pay-in with the roll of the pet tape, like I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to buy that box. And I was like, Tawana, you just want the tape. You don't really want the, <laughs> the items in it. And the bookmarks. So there are definitely going to be boxes. My suggestion is if you're worried about... Um, getting the boxes and like after three or four months just realizing you've accumulated a lot of things find a planner buddy and be like hey would you like to split the box and then ask them like what are the items that you think that you would want out of the box some of um, the planners and crafters out there love craft paper not necessarily my personal jam it comes in handy when you want to make certain things but I don't feel like I need a ton of it there are planners out there if you're like that then find somebody and partner with somebody who likes the craft paper so you're like okay we can split the price of the box and you can have all the craft paper and they are excited with that and then like hey we can split the stickers you know you take one thing and washi i take the other thing and washi like you can kind of do that if that helps but thank you guys for watching you guys have a great day make sure you check out gold mine and coco's um monthly subscription they also have a quarterly subscription which is right now my vibe i am loving the treasure chest but that's a whole nother video so you guys have a great day peace and blessings to you thank you